Hey folks, today we're making the White Russian. I know most of you probably have had this cocktail or probably even made this cocktail before. But today I wanted to show you a different technique on how you can make this drink without even changing the ingredients. While you can probably make this drink a whole lot fancier, we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna focus a little bit more on the technique here. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more drinks and memories. Let's get behind the stick. You probably already know a little bit about this cocktail because you maybe have seen it in the big screen. In the movie, The Big Lebowski. 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 I wanna say Bowski. The character, the dude, played by Jeff Bridges, drinks White Russians pretty much during the whole movie. At Crane Jackson's Fountain Street Theater on Tuesday night. What to do with, uh, you have any Kahlua? But this drink actually dates back to the 50s and 60s, being more prominent in the 60s and 70s. In the late 50s, during the Cold War, Kahlua, the Mexican coffee liqueur, which is actually made with rum, made a huge marketing push with the Black Russian which is actually a white Russian, but without the cream. But the first print recipe was not until 1965 that posted the white Russian recipe being one ounce vodka, one ounce coffee liqueur, and one ounce of cream. We're gonna be using vodka, of course, but we're using Tito's. We're also gonna be using coffee liqueur, but in this case, we're gonna be using Mr. Black, which is a coffee liqueur made out of cold brew coffee and is 100% cold brew coffee, which is fortified with vodka, and it's also slightly sweetened. This one, in comparison to other coffee liqueurs, it doesn't have as much roundness. So I'm also gonna opt out and to put just a slight bit of simple syrup, a quarter ounce it's more than enough. Technically, you could just build this drink in a rocks glass with ice, give it a quick stir, and you're off to go. I could keep talking about this, but let's just make it, shall we? As I mentioned, I'm building this slightly different. This is how I make white Russians, whether you want it on the rocks or not. In a mixing glass, add one and a half ounces or 45 mils of your choice of vodka. Then add one and a half ounces or 45 mils of coffee liqueur. I'm using Mr. Black, which doesn't have a lot of sweetness. Also, the cream I'm using doesn't have any sugar. So optionally, add a quarter ounce or 7.5 mils of simple syrup. After that, whatever you do, do not add the cream into your mixing glass. Grab a shaker and only in your shaker, add your cream. I'm using about one ounce or 30 mils of heavy cream. Feel free to add a bit more just for good measure. Then add ice all the way up to your mixing glass and you can go ahead and stir for about 20 seconds. Or you can simultaneously add a small piece of ice to your shaker and both shake and stir at the same time. What I'm doing here is adding aeration to the cream so we can have more texture and that way I'll be able to float the cream on top of the cocktail very easily, whether I serve it up or on the rocks. Once you're done shaking and stirring, first strain your black Russian into your cocktail glass. I'm using this chilled coupe. And as for the cream, slowly and gently strain it to the back of a bar spoon in order to float the cream on top. Hopefully, here's a better angle so you can see how I layer it. That is looking good right there. You don't necessarily need to garnish this drink, but I highly recommend garnishing this with a generous amount of freshly grated nutmeg. It truly takes this simple drink to a whole new level. And there it is, the White Russian. And there you have the White Russian. 
As you can see, we didn't change much of the recipe. There are some other drinks that you could do the same technique like as I showed you just now. Do you have any ideas of what other cocktails you can do like this? Let me know in the comments. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next memoir. Uh, what, do I, what did I usually say? Uh... Or something like that, I can't remember exactly.